Adam and Jackie family. And, and uh, hoping that other tracks around the country will follow this and have this kind of this kind of thing. All the tracks I've ever been to, I've never seen one of these wall of fame. But I'm sure it'll catch on now and go. be able to introduce you know our dad uh, you know winner of over 400 features 20 some different championships uh, Bill White And this was written in 1966. For the past 18 years, I've engaged in some type of dirt track racing in and around Central Texas. There seems to be some type of obsession that envelops a man who likes to race as I do. Even in my school days, there was something in my desires of life that made me like speed and its feeling on the human body. A neighbor friend of mine and I used to race down to Wacony Hill in a Model T Ford. That was in 25, 26, or 27, before the days the highway patrolman was out there with that little gadget they called the radar. Even so, we were going down that hill at least 50 to 60 miles an hour. I can just imagine. As for dirt track racing, he says he thinks it's the best racing that there is. At this time, Daddy, I would like to have you come up here. This coming Saturday, he will be the very young, 97 years old. Happy birthday, JT. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. At the Devil's Bow Speedway, defeating the champion, a driver named Bill White. He lapped Bill White three times in the 100 lap race. On July 24, 1966, they won every race they competed in that night, totaling four races. Martha, he has seven children. He was born in Waco, Texas on December the 14th, 1931. This inductee is absolutely one of the all-time greats to ever race at the heart of Texas Speedway or any speedway he raced, Mr. James Bud Jurassic. I'm not very good at talking. But all I got to say is you never did get to see that little yellow coot run around this track here. You never have seen a race car here. <laughs> so much. Okay, I'll make this short and sweet. Usually behind them, when I'm behind this microphone, I'm hollering at all the racers, pack the track, get in line, do this and do that. Uh, I've had a real good racing career, racing with Paul White as a, a partner when we had the V6s. So he's part of the blame for not letting them run V6s no more also, him and George White. Uh, one of the main reasons I'm here today is just to Appreciate you guys on the Wall of Fame and, and just be around people like JT, Gordon, Bill White, the real heroes and the real race car drivers. The real race car drivers, those guys. When I wasn't here racing, I didn't race against JT, but I was riding those pits, standing back looking at his car. Beautiful car, he's a good driver, Gordon. Raced against him probably three times, kicked my butt all three times. Real race car drivers, guys. That's what this is about, the real race car drivers. along with Paul, Henry, and the rest of the guys. Thank you. Dale, congratulations, my friend. All right. 
Well, this, this was one part of my life chasing all these other guys that they're talking about here. Sometimes I caught them and sometimes I didn't, but it was a lot of fun. Andrew Wick Jr. induct him into the 2010 Walter Fight. William well, Captain Tay was, uh, Paul White was with me over there, and the first time I went to Florida in that late model, he didn't get that first rate. I went out the pit gate backwards, I think, on the first lap. <laughs> Paul goes, man, how'd you do that? And I said, I don't know, it didn't turn. <laughs> but anyway, it's a, it's a great honor, you know, you gotta have a good crew to do this stuff, and good sponsors, and uh, Glenn and Daryl, all the guys, they did a great job with this fireman, and one's working uh, one day on and two day off, and, they just did a terrific job. Had good guys, and I just drove the car. And it was a real privilege to be able to drive for these guys and, and have a lot of fun. And Florida Texas Speedway, and Glenn and Daryl and all my crew. Without them, I wouldn't be standing here. Thank y'all. Was the dirt track cowboy? He was good at driving. He could do a lot in the car. Yeah, I had uh, lots of stuff I was going to say, and I sat right here and listened to him say every bit of it. So. <laughs> he did a good job. Uh, 31 years, it's been a long time, and uh, I was kind of coming up through there, and I caught up with JT, and I thought, well, I'll take this old man pretty quick right here. And I think somebody told us we run uh, 15 laps side by side, and he beat me about six inches or something like that. Because, but we never touched wheels. And uh, I tell you, because I'm not that good a driver, so you know he was good to stay out from there. <laughs> I want to thank Tommy. I mean, without him, we wouldn't have had this. I mean, he was the bulldog on it and stayed after it. And then uh, the promoters that we run for, uh, Harold on the track when I started. Yeah, I just like...